Yes, welcome to the next Semitech video tutorial. Now for today's episode, I just want to show you how to retrieve your personal files, music, work, pictures, etc. from a laptop that is booting. Now the problem that this customer is having is that the laptop it is trying to boot but it is just not um, booting. It is not passing the Windows loading screen. Now, I've tried F8 just to get it up into safe mode, still not booting. So my, so my final um, result was actually to use the, the, my Iron's boot CD. And what the CD does, it actually create a mini XP so that you can get onto um, your OS R drive or to split the R drive on that section of the R drive which the OS um, is installed. So I'll be so this iron board cd gonna create a mini windows xp so it's just gonna create a temporary windows for you so that you can transfer the files now while it is loading into the mini windows xp i just gonna plug in my external hard drive so let me just search to find a USB port now Windows XP is being created now of course I have actually have more than one videos showing basically the same thing but it does not hurt just to go over it or learn the same thing more than once. Alright, so as you can see now, we have a desktop up and running. And again, this is not the actual um, OS that is on the system. In fact, it actually has on Windows 7. And as you can see, this um, desktop actually looks like our old service pack um, XP. Now, what I need to do now, I need to locate the files. Now, the customer actually has some files on his desktop in my music and also in my document. So, I'll be searching for those folders and transfer the information or the files to the external address that I actually attached to this laptop. So, of course, you're going to go My Computer. And, of course, as you can see, the My Computer's um, page definitely look different from the Windows 7. So, what I'll be searching for is local disk. C users um Jamar Lopez that's the name of the customer. So here we have a bunch of files. So first I'm gonna search for desktop. Here is desktop. So all these files that's gonna scan through them. See if I can make a quick summary as to what you might need. Now this customer actually play a lot of music so most of the files are going to be audio and from what I'm seeing pretty much everything needs to be copied except for these shortcuts some programs but they don't take up much space so what I'll be doing just control A highlight everything copy and of course now I need to create a folder on, the ex on my external hard drive for this customer da 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 uh, locate my drive yeah I'm just gonna create a folder for this customer alright new let's name it Jamar so folder is created Paste a year ago, so the files from the desktop is now being transferred to the folder that I've created and my external address. Now I'll be doing the same thing for the files that, that will be coming from my document, my music, and if by chance um, Jamar have some pictures in my pictures, I will be also transferring just create different folders for those from those different places. Now, again, thanks for viewing. 
if you're having problem with your system booting it can be a virus that is caused it or it can just be that the operating system crash now what you need to do before you format your computer is to ensure that you back up your information because once you wipe the disk clean you're gonna lose them unless you have some real program that can actually recover those deleted files now in order for you to get those information you, have, you can boot it up in what is known as safe mode that is where you press continuously press F8 and um, what I realized is that for the past year or so a lot of time whenever the operating system go the laptop is still in the computer is still not booting in safe mode so that is why I actually use this iron boot CD a lot again iron boot can also fail if that is the case, you have to definitely take out the laptop hard drive, put it into an external um, hard drive, or you can get an adapter to attach to it, and then of course you can transfer the information. And of course, I will be doing a video also showing you how to remove the hard drive and attach it to a USB adapter so that you can get the information across. So after these information are being transferred from the laptop, to my external agile and of course I'm gonna reinstall Windows 7 on this laptop and this customer will be good to go. Um just a quick review as to the laptop it is actually like Acer Aspire um, laptop it have a 160 agile I mean basically one of those old generation but it is still up and running this customer actually use it to play music so thanks for viewing if you like this video or if this video help you please click on the subscription button and guys please remember that for information or for the latest information and technology you can visit my website you will find it at www.femitech.net so see you femitech is out of air Ta-da!